have started using Scrivener to write my blog posts and I wanted to show how I set it up because it has completely revolutionized how I do blog posts. It's made everything so much easier and I wanted to I wanted to show you how. Okay, so in a normal novel setup, these would be chapters over here on the left. And then if you opened one up, you would have a scene. Okay. Well, I've changed mine so that um, all chapters are months. And um, I just started this really in March. Um, and then uh, blog posts, obviously, are where the scenes would go. And I've created a color system to help me look and see just what I need to do next and what is coming. Um, and then, and I have a system even for how I, how I set that up. If you'll notice, December here it is not colored, and that's because I don't actually have a blog post titled for it and without a title if I don't have a specific blog post going into that month I don't um, color it in I don't use the labels that I've created over here okay but I can look at any month and see just what kind of posts I had and then so if you look at April though you have I had a launch I have promo these are a blog challenge I'm doing, um, book reviews, etc. So this is how I set it up. Um, I'm, this is still April, so I'm going to I'm going to go with this over here in the inspector. Instead of this being um, label and status, I have label and there's um, month. Obviously, the pink is to break up that long list of stuff, right? So I made I made a month label. Orange is to write in process is yellow, green is written, blue links and images, purple scheduled, and aqua published. I also have a gray ideas that I just created recently. It doesn't have um, very many in there yet, but um, and then um, I have these what would be called status in a, in a book thing, you know, the pre set things. Um, I created new ones um, and I created them here instead of up in the top because I wanted to stamp. Okay. And so my status, I have a general, which is just your basic run of the mill blog post that doesn't have a specific type um, book review promo. If we have a book on sale, um, this is that blog challenge I was telling you about. Um, if there's a book launch um, in writing instructional, um, this one here, um, is under a writing instructional. Um, the make it sticky is, is only for the months. Um, if you go up here under draft, you'll see that it says make it sticky. That's just for the month. And it's only there to remind myself to do all my SEO stuff. Um, it's not necessary, but I liked it. And then personal and project, um, you know, posts that are just about, you know, something the Lord is teaching me or like I have a book quilt project I'm going to start. And so there are a few things like that. All right. And so with those elements, this is how I, I actually block in this thing. Okay. In April, unfortunately, most of these are all scheduled, so it's a little different, but so for example, um, this is April and if you'll notice, um, these aquas, these are all the ones that have already been published. So when I have, to, when I have time, I'll have different things that I need to do. So if I only have a couple of minutes, I can go in here and go, oh, look, behind the scenes is written, but it, it hasn't been put over onto the blog post, which technically I've done for this purpose. So I would select my copy. I would go over to my blog post. I'd paste it in there. I'd move this up and then I would set it in here all ready to go. Notice how I have the settings. I've already got it all set this way and I have it saved for the date that it has to go live. So once I had done that, then I come back into the blog post and I change this 
two links and images, okay? And then I would go on, right? So sometimes I only have a couple minutes. That only takes me five minutes to do. So if I only have a couple minutes that I need to, you know, while I'm waiting for a movie to start or, you know, I've got something cooking and it's got, you know, five or six minutes left and I want to do something in the meantime, I can do that. I can go do that. Um, if I have, if I'm watching a movie, I might want to go over to this um, links and images. This means that it's already in the blog, like this post is. It's all ready for me, but I don't quite have, um, you know, you know, I, I can't really write while I'm watching the movie, right? Well, I do sometimes, but let's just assume I really want to pay attention to the movie. So I can go in here and while I'm watching the movie, the movie is playing, I can upload my images and they're going to be in here. They're going to be under here. I'm going to click there. You know, I can do all this stuff um, while I'm watching this movie. And it's just, you know, I, I could make the images if I needed to. I could, um, you know, do whatever. But this doesn't require me really to think much, right? So having that list over there on the side, um, really gives me an idea of what I have time for, what needs to be done depending on what time I have. And see, you know, I can just spend the next, sometimes this part can take me a full hour, you know, getting those pictures made and in there and everything. So some. Sometimes, you know, that it takes longer for that. So if I only have, if I have, you know, I'm watching a movie or I'm, you know, watching the grandkids and, you know, they're playing so I can, I can do this kind of thing, but I need to keep one eye and one ear on them. I've got this, I've got this ready, right? Um, let's see, this is under general because this isn't the same thing. But anyhow, so let's do it in December. Let's pretend I've come up with my Christmas post for December. So I would come over here because I'm going to create a post. Um, I'm going to tell myself to make it sticky. Don't forget. And then say now December has it colored and I'm going to, I'm going to call this Christmas post. Now I don't usually just do a Christmas post. I mean, a post without going into co-schedule first. Five things I hate about Christmas. Let's just see. And it'll tell me, huh, I got a 72, of course it did. Um, what if I say absolutely love about Christmas? It got me a 77. Great. So now I have my title. I'm going to do five things I absolutely love about Christmas, which is great because I actually really do like Christmas and didn't want to do hate. All right. So I have my title. Now I know that I need to make a list of five things instead of just ramble, right? So once I have my title and everything, this label gets changed to in process, the status, I'm going to make it personal because it's just me talking about what I love about Christmas. So I write a bit, la di da di da di da and I have to go. Well, it's in process, so I'm fine. It's no big deal. I go up here and life is grand and a couple days later, I have time to write again. So I can scroll down and I can work on like this orange one, which is going to have to be due soon, or one of these orange ones, but I'm like, oh, wait a minute. That's right. I started this Christmas post, which I want to change up to up here. All right. And so I'm going to finish the post and the post is done. Woot. Once the post is written, I change it to written. Now I can go off, life is grand, no big deal, don't have to worry about it anymore because now I know that when I have that green, the post is written and all I need now is to do the links and images. So I come back at some other time, maybe I don't want to do that one right now. Maybe I need to do this quick and easy way to cut the fluff, right? So I'm all set for this, control A. 
I go over here and um, hit paste. I copy the line. I always place that line in the top, at the very top for this reason. Now it is ready for me to go, right? All I got to do is now is hit delete and I am ready to um, do the headers. So I need all my little heading twos so that the SEO is nice and wonderful and life is grand, right? And so once I've done all that blue stuff, which I'm not going to do, I'm not going to save this because this is actually for a different website, um, then I would come over here and I would change it to links and images. Then I know that this is ready for that. All I have to do is go in and do links and images. And so I would go back to that website. Once the links and images are done and I have scheduled the post, I go in here and I change it to scheduled. So now this three right here, three quick and easy ways to cut the fluff, right? This is scheduled as far as um, my, as far as my, you know, Scrivener here is concerned. Then once it is published, I don't change it yet until I have shared it on all so social media platforms that I normally would share that particular post on. I don't share all posts on all platforms, but wherever I would share that one, once the sharing is done, it's published, I've shared it, I've done my part, then I go ahead and, and I go in here and then I say it's published because at that point, I've done all the work that I need to do for it, right? And so it's just, you know, that's what all of these are. So that's how I use it. Um, it, it works really great for me because obviously here's my year to glance. All I know is that when I look at this, because this here, this isn't a month, so it doesn't get a color before I just changed this one that didn't have a color. So I knew at a glance what months had some posts in it and what months didn't. Obviously April is almost over. And so, um, those are, those are almost done, but look at this. I have a couple that have to be done before the end of the month here. So I need to get in there and I need to do those blue things, get them scheduled. And then these, this is going to be published pretty soon. I need to pay attention to these things. Here is this, you know, here's this post right here. It's all ready to go. It's scheduled. Um, I'm actually remaking this video for it. So that's why you know, that's there, but yeah, this, it's just a quick and simple, easy, super easy way for me to be able to look at a glance at what's done and what's not. So there you have it. Scrivener as a blogging tool. How awesome is that? I would never have imagined how easy it would be, but this, um, I did Camp NaNoWriMo in April. I, I used this. This is why I created this system. And I wrote over 50,000 words, probably closer to 60,000 words of blog posts for the year. Um, all of these aquas, all of these purples, everything that's colored here, anything that's not orange that is colored here, I did in April, all of this. And obviously the orange down here at the bottom wasn't done, but look at that. And it, it was so easy and it was so fast and the, and the system, it has been super easy to do. You know, I have a system now, I have a flow. Oh, look, I need to go finish this because this needs to be scheduled for Friday. So I can take one glance at it. It goes in my planner every week, you know, look to see what needs to be scheduled. Is there anything that has to get done? But a lot of these, look at all these in May, these are scheduled. I have four scheduled for May already. This is cool beans. I have four more that need to be scheduled and um, obviously I do need to get this back to, um, <laughs> my links and stuff because that one needs to be done. I messed with that in this, but anyway, so there you have it. Scrivener as a blogging tool. How cool is that? Have a good day. Mm -hmm.